Hi YouTube, today we have this Hunter Original. This is one of the newer models with the skeletal motor inside of it. You can't see through the motor. The skeletal motor is in there. Uh, all I got was him with the carton, so I have no clue I ever got the original box. Um, let's go ahead and look at this on top of the fan first. Let's see. I think it's all over here. Let's see if I can get it. It's going to be upside down probably. I'll try reading it to you. Uh, Caution sticker. Hunter original. 015441 it looks like. The model number. Type C. Twenty-five twenty. Oh no, no. Fifty-two oh two. I'm guessing that this is made. This is a two thousand two model. I know it's all upside down. Sorry, I put the motor on that side. I've got no good vantage point in getting over there. That's what we have. I'm um, gonna get a picture of. I guess a quick view of the side band. No longer have a date on these sidebands if I'm correct. Oop, now you want the set. There you go. Hunter. Doing the best for a hundred years. Um, I've had to do some work on this fan. And this fan's a brand new fan, but uh, when I got it, these gloss black blades, uh, the holes were not drilled to the right side, so I had to re-drill them. That's why there's some wood showing on top. I can easily touch it up with some black paint, no big deal. Um, took a fan off of Craigslist. The guy never installed it. Um, just sat in his attic. So. It has everything mounting hardware. I'm not just using a J-hook, but it has the original knife hardware, and even the nuts. It has everything, except for I think the owner's manual. Uh, of course, after I had to get the blades all in balance and make sure everything was good. Either way, everything is good now. This is it with five blades. So let's go ahead and go to low. So, high and medium low. Now, this is my first test of a five bladed hunter. I've tested multiple four bladed hunters, never a five bladed hunter. So, this is uh, really, I would say it looks. It looks very awesome. So it's either that or it's just because it's all black. And I like all black fans. Like the black and black Enviro fan I have. The gold line on it. I like that a lot. Patty, stop it! Sorry, one dog. Either way, there's your low speed. Let's go ahead and go to medium. So off by medium. It's been a while since I actually tested the Hunter original. I forgot how heavy the motors are. Things are very heavy, even these newer ones that have the skeleton motor and they're still have the same weight because it's a cast iron housing. Uh, interesting note about this fan, there's no oiling hole on top. You can only oil it via the little cap at the top of the switch housing. I had a fun time trying to figure out how to do that. There's on medium speed. Next we're gonna go low off high. And even with the skeleton motor, it moves a good amount of air. I mean, yes, it's, granted it's a less quality motor, but it's not like it's less quality air movement. It still has the RPM around the hunters I've, I've tested. And It definitely doesn't seem like it moves as much air five blades compared to four. I haven't tested this one with four blades yet, but next after this, I let it spin down. So, move my step ladder out of the way. We go medium a little top. We're gonna walk over here. We're gonna so watch it spin down. This will be a very classy fan. I do wish it was with the older type motor. 
I don't know if this is something recent or not, but I recently heard that 2015 they're going to go back to the older style of motors, which everyone seems to like, and they, they definitely hold up more. I mean, I've got a 1970-hundred, which you've probably seen video of me, that I restored in black and chrome. Bearings are a little stiff still, but that's, I mean, it's that in packaging without oil for a long time. It's just now getting its oil through its system, so. Either way, there you go. And I'll be putting four blades on it in a sec. Unlike Magic, we're back to four, four bladed fit. There's the extra blade, and the extra screws are there. Uh, either way, we're going to test this the same fan as earlier. Let's go ahead and test it on low. Now this looks more like a traditional hunter with the four blades. And it still looks really good. I think I, li I like the look of the fly blades because of how it, it fills up the fan. But I like four as well. I think four will move more air movement because there's more space in between the blades. That's low speed. Go ahead and go to medium. So off high low. Already feeling a pretty good breeze from it. Medium, more air than I felt on its medium of five blades. And last but not least, we're gonna get a high. So low, off, high. And honestly, on high, there's a lot more air movement. I'll probably get the RPMs, it might be a little faster also since it's not as much weight to pull. There's definitely way more air movement and it moves a heck of a lot of air. It feels really good. So, I will be seeing the RPMs at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and just do a spin down. So medium, low, and off. Do a quick spin down on four blades. I believe this is a 2002 model. This is the year they changed to the skeleton motor. So this is like one of the first ones they had, I guess. And it still seems like it works better than the most residential fans. So I can't complain. It's still a good fan for what you pay for. Just I don't know how, well they, how long they last. I love the glossy blades. That gloss is amazing. And there you go. Either way, thank 